My name is Julia Knight and I'm the principal of this lovely little school. So we've been using the Oxford International Curriculum since we piloted it in 2021 and we've loved every minute of it. When we were opening the school and looking for the primary, we wanted a curriculum that would have a focus on well-being. And the interesting thing about Bahrain is that it draws from both Western pedagogy and the East. But we wanted something that would merge the two. So the Oxford International Curriculum is perfect for that because it feeds beautifully into the GCSE and A-levels, which is where our parent body would eventually want to go. But it also has that focus on well-being, which I think is super, super important. So one of the impacts of having the curriculum in place has been that we've actually reduced planning time. So we've turned that time over to the teachers and we give them an opportunity to create useful resources. And when you walk around our school, you see the impact of the curriculum, not just in the lesson planning, but in the actual things that the teachers are able to produce. And then obviously that feeds into what the children produce as well. So for me, the golden aspect of it is really that time that we can dedicate to what's really important in our profession, which is teaching. The benefits of teaching the Oxford International Curriculum, I can name many, but I'd say it has an amazing structure to it. And with all the core subjects, English, Math, Science and Computers, they have well-being and global skills incorporated, which is amazing because that way you're just not teaching the core subject you are teaching the whole child, you're training the whole child, which is amazing. And other than that, I also feel like the lesson plans are personalized, they're open-ended, and that way you're just able to keep these four and five-year-olds interested in the lesson while they're learning as well. We've got um, tasks set for the lower ability, we've got tasks set for the higher ability, so the differentiation that they've provided with is amazing, it's very, very helpful. Other than that, I feel like with COVID, uh, children have come in with low confidence, lower self-esteem, you know, higher anxiety levels, you know, they've been scared of making mistakes, they've been uh, just in general not being able to work together because they've been in isolation for two years. So um, with this curriculum, with the Oxford International Curriculum, I just feel because well-being is a core part of it, I've been able to nurture confident, emotionally strong children and I think they're ready to take up any sort of challenge now. This uh, curriculum is preparing them for the world with like with the global projects that they've been doing. Like last year they did the rainforest, this year they did um, the habitats uh, projects. They're all excited about the also, because it's through the play, so they learn through play, this is what they need to actually exist properly in the outside world. This is teaching them to be global citizens. I think the Oxford International Curriculum, I think it's amazing and I think all schools should have it. Her development herself, the Global Skills Project has been second to none really. We've been watching her at home with her, not only her consciousness, but also her reading. It's just gone, it's just jumped out of nowhere really. But we've always left her at peace with what's going on at the school. We've trusted the school implicitly. So the parents at Eaton House come here for a particular philosophy. They like our play-based learning. They love the fact that we draw on different pedagogies and we have these collaborative learning opportunities. You really see the leadership begin to flourish, but you also see confidence. Everybody that comes to Eaton House says the same thing. The children are confident, they're independent, and they have real leadership qualities. And that's all down to the curriculum.